is what I talk about when we talk about like woke, when we talk about progressive, it's always talking about social justice. I'm not saying social justice in itself is not a bad thing, but see, this, see how they turn it something of, like a cultural value and they talk about social justice just to get into all of this stuff instead of talking about what would enrich our culture, what would enrich yourself as a Filipino, as an individual and, and make you better than yesterday. Now you're talking about all this thing. I'm so, I'm so mad. Hey yo, what's up you guys? So I'm coming to you another video. It is October, which means it's Filipino American History Month. What is up? All of that good stuff. So to celebrate, to do all of this month, I am visiting, revisiting One Down Media. You know, I actually haven't done one of these videos in a while and I have put off this one particular video. Them talking about Utang Nalu'u, which means a debt of gratitude. And I really wanted to do this video, but I guess I'm doing it now. But Really, I, I feel like this idea of debt of gratitude really speaks to the Filipino-American experience in a, in, a, in a conservative way, the inherent conservative Filipino values in which we give back to our parents, we give back to our country, we give back to our land, right? And give back to our values and God and everything about that. I feel like those are intrinsically Filipino, god family country, right? And But I'm wondering, and I'm going to suspect, that one down being left as left as they are gonna spin this as some gaslighting as some toxic behavior as as at what point do you have to give to your parents type thing and and not treat it as something as respectful but something as something toxic like i said to the point where it's detrimental it's it's mental issues all the stuff that the left likes to do so again i'm friends with People on One Down, so I'm not saying all of them is bad. I think they do a good job. Sapphire, the host, is one of my friends. But, it, it, again, they do a lot of things that I want to talk about and give a conservative perspective. So, with that said, we'll take a look what they have to say. And so, we'll take a look. So, shall we begin? But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Mavic Mitch. Hey, Mitch Mitch. All the Mitches, the call sign Don, and pretty much I like talking about what I talk about. So, current events, reviews, pop culture, social bullet commentary. Be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe as it feeds the algorithm. So, help me build to 3K and up. And so, with that said, roll it. A Filipino's love language is sacrificing their personal goals for the sake of their family's well-being. While other people can just tell their family they love them or give them gifts, Filipinos are taught that love looks like never talking back to your lolo, especially when he says something you disagree with. Love looks like defining your life choices by what your parents want, like your career. And sometimes, love looks like leaving your family to go to another country. As Mulan was told, you'll bring honor to us all. And for many Filipinos growing up, that can be a lot of pressure. But our parents often tell us when they were our age, things were much worse. At the same time, isn't that why they worked so hard and made as many sacrifices as they did? So we wouldn't have to go through what they did? So are we selfish for complaining? Especially yes. when many of us- <laughs> Um, already, like I said, this is already hitting some wrong notes for me. Instead of being something like respectful, and, I, and I'm sure they're gonna switch it up, right? They're gonna go with the negative aspect, maybe switch it up and then go back to the ne negative aspect again. But I would have preferred to do the positive, talk about a little bit of the things that they're mentioning. There's some truths in here um, about pressure, societal pressure, uh, living up to your parents, expectations, all that stuff. I think those are um, healthy conversations and then bring it back to something that's conservative and positive and something constructive. But again, going into tone, or, uh, again, the premise here is that it like, should we not live up to, should we not honor our parents? It's in the freaking Bible, you know? <laughs> honor your mom and dad. <laughs> but, um, again, it's coming from this negative uh, perspective. And again, we'll, we'll go into it. But again, it's going into this idea of, of being toxic. This whole mental issues, this whole like going into, like I said, gaslighting and all that good stuff. So let's continue what they got to say up in situations better than our parents or grandparents did is our duty as a filipino to our families yes over ourselves and Both. what happens when we do choose ourselves over what our families want i'm safra sandalo and this what up is sapphire where we talk real 
So how did our parents and their parents become okay with making all of their sacrifices? Moving to a foreign country, becoming the head of the household when you're only 13, foregoing an education to work a job and keep food on the table. It boils down to our culture's values like Bahalana and Utang Nalo'o. Bahalana is the Filipino version of it is what it is. Not to be- You do you, boo! <laughs> confused with- Bahala ka! Sabuhay mo! Filipinos say it to encourage themselves to deal with tough situations or life-changing moments that may come into their lives. Utang na loob is literally translated into a debt of one's inner self. But what it really means is reciprocity. Like, I do this for you and you do this for me. But for Filipinos, it goes even deeper. No, right? no. Like, it is a debt of gratitude. Like, that, that debt of gratitude. Our parents, oh gosh, this is why it frustrates me with all of this negativity of all of this like woke, not even woke, I guess this is just a, a progressive type of mindset. Like your, our parents, our grandparents, whatever have that, even if, if you yourself are first generation, you cross an ocean for a better life and for your children and all your grandchildren to take that for granted and, and just to be like slap in the face. Of course, it's bad. And so, is there a level in which you should like have that respect or have that expectations like you will do this because I did this for you to some degree like I don't expect it, it's it's the whole kind of like your duty to your family right your duty your honor um, and, and, it, and it I feel those things are very Asian and not even just uniquely Asian but this idea of it, it's like I had to like dive into this more like this level of piety this level of family honor and duty and it came from like Confucianism right and so obviously not every aspect of that um, is a result of that meaning all the Asian countries but there, there's some aspect of those values that was tra translated just as much as Western influences and and all of that was introduced by whatever Greco Roman culture whatever and again not exclusively like that but again there's aspects of that right and so I this idea of gratitude this idea of duty and honor I think is ultimately good can it be toxic can it be bad sure whatever but ultimately it's good and it just irks me so mad it's so freaking much that someone has done something for you, you are also expected to see all of the things that happened because of that one action. Like, if you worked so I can go to school, which allowed me to pursue higher education, which then allowed me to graduate with a degree, and resulted in me having the ability to choose my career, I am indebted to you for paying for my education, which creates the pressure that I must follow what you decide is best for me. Well, okay, so a portion of that, it, half, half, again, half-truths. Should you listen to your parents for paying your damn tuition? The tuition that y'all didn't pay, right? Y'all want this free edu education. Of course, y'all spoil as people, right? But do I would? I guess there's certain parents out there that might be bad. My parents obviously aren't. Like, if if this isn't working out, if I'm doing something that is not beneficial to me, my health, my family, whatever, obviously I need to follow something that is beneficial. Luckily, like, I'm, like, I, I, I was one of the people who was studying Asian American studies. I was studying IT, but I partied too hard. What up, Cesar Fossa? What up, Fossa Modern? But yeah, I, I graduated with, like, a useless degree, quote-unquote. Quote, you know, I'm using that now as I'm doing more activism now like 10 years 20 years later but you know I went to the Air Force the Air Force was always been my end goal right but the point being is her, her saying that this debt of gratitude is something that is um, a down payment now down payment and now you have to repay me back and I, I don't think that's it in it I, I, I'm sure there's Filipinos that may use Utana Uub in that manner, but in its spirit, in its true, its truest form, as in good faith, it is something that you give to your kids because you want something good for your kids, and then in turn, they will return it back, not because they are indebted to you, but because they want to. Of course, like what kind of Filipino kid out there would not want to treat their parents well? Like y'all, like. I have I have seen my peers like during like T 
team retreats and all that stuff that they, they it, they're not Filipino, but they work like in a restaurant, right? They, they grew up Chinese, right? And it's the same level of attitude, the same level of value. Like my, I see my parents working hard uh, all this time uh, and I'm working my life. And so he wants to give back, right? And so my point here with, with, a, with a debt of gratitude, with a utan in good faith, in good faith, in good spirits, and in good form, it is returning back because you want to, because not because you have to. While utang na loob is practiced by several different kinds of relationships, we see this most in familial relationships. For us, we're pressured to go into a career that's more financially stable and potentially sacrifice our dream job so we can securely take care of our children and repay our parents for all the sacrifices they made. We might not have even had our dream career be an option if it wasn't for their sacrifices. But for our parents and grandparents, many of them already had to give up everything, including their families, as immigrants immigrants or OFWs. In the Philippines, overseas Filipino workers or OFWs are considered national heroes or bagong bayani. OFWs are contract workers that what? Why are we going in this route? Like, okay, we're talking about overseas workers, which is, a good, I guess, a good aspect uh, because that is one of the major products of the Philippines is that the human resources. But like, okay, like we're going to tie this with giving back to your family. That should be a good thing, not a bad thing spend months or even years at a time working in a foreign country so they can earn money and send it back to the Philippines, making up 11% of the economy. There are national weeks dedicated to celebrating the return of these overseas workers and praising them for their sacrifices. After all, making a living in the Philippines itself isn't easy. The unemployment rate is almost twice as high in the Philippines than it is in the U.S. And the average salary is barely enough to cover the standard of living, keeping in mind that in the Philippines, Philippines, households are usually multi-generational and one family member is expected to also provide for their elders and their young ones. So it's necessary for Filipinos to make this sacrifice and go abroad. Utang na loob for the sake of providing a better life for our children and repaying our grandparents. However, what isn't often talked about is how OFWs are expected to deal with poor living conditions, discrimination- Okay, so here we're going. So instead of talking, instead of using a segment about talking about, again, these are bad things that are happening. Fine, granted, I don't, I, I'm not questioning that. Why not dedicate a, a whole section to that versus talking about a Filipino value that should be enriched, should be empowering, should be, in, uh, speaks to the Filipino American spirit, story, experience. Now you're bringing it some, into a negative light. Like, not to say that you cannot talk about these things, but use that, like, talk about something positive, my goodness! ...from their bosses, as well as racism in their working countries, and the trauma of being separated from their families for such a long time. By just commending them on their sacrifice and for doing the right thing, we also pretend that there's no way we can fix these miserable conditions. Ultimately, being able to call... See, this is what I talk about when we talk about, like, woke, when we talk about progressive, it's always talking about social justice. I'm not saying social justice in itself is not a bad thing, but see, this see how they turn it something of, like a cultural value and they talk about social justice just to get into all of this stuff instead of talking about what would enrich our culture, what would enrich yourself as a Filipino, as an individual and, and make you better than yesterday. Now you're talking about all this nigga. I'm so, I'm so mad. <laughs> cultural context we're seeing this action through. Every generation probably went through something their parents or their kids won't understand because our actions affect the options our future generations have. Right now, for many Filipinos, sending their loved ones abroad is the only option they have for sustaining their families. And for the Philippines, this supports the economy. We still feel the pressure to be our ancestors' wildest dreams, and sometimes we'll argue with our immediate families on what that dream can be. But every generation has its defining moment that pays it forward for the next generation. So, what will ours be? All right, somewhat of a positive ending in which you're giving something open ending, and obviously, at the very least. But what will that be? What will that be? Because uta na loob is a debt of gratitude. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it is a it, you give back because you want to. And you know, for of course, I'm gonna spin it because God, family, country. You you want like God gave it like God 
is the master in the universe and is the creator of the universe and he knows your name, right? And, and you give back. The first and foremost thing I believe, of course, is the most powerful thing you can do in life, your purpose in life, is to serve and love your your Lord, your Savior, your God, right? And to give back. And I think this, if you give it a different perspective, if you give it that, that you, what you're giving back is for the greater glory of God, I think that is more powerful because then, you, of course, likewise, you would give back to your family. You would give back to yourself because the, you understand these are gifts from God that you would want to uphold and keep and treasure and of course giving back to your country, giving back to your land, giving back to nature, right? Conservative values, right? And so I I just I am so angered, not really perturbed, more so annoyed that they want to use something a cultural value that is enriched to us. Again, a debt of gratitude is not uniquely to Filipinos, but it's it's a strong value within us. And it's something that I feel is intrinsic to the Filipino American experience is that again, this level of a God family country, this level of giving back, I think those are things that are should be a good thing and here they are spinning it as a negative thing. Like I said also like if you want to talk about overseas workers fine use it as another video but don't just don't don't co-op don't don't subvert the talking about something that is positive a cultural value that is a Filipino cultural value Filipino value and subvert it with something that is something that you want to talk about a talking point you want to talk about and embrace yourself embrace Filipino embrace being fully Filipino fully American and embrace this idea of grace embrace this level of suck you know and I think those are good things so I'll just leave it here so utang na loob is a great value that we should celebrate in good faith not to be expected but something that you want to do right and so um, I love this topic I hate their 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 spin on it but we'll keep on going and so if you like this video if you like what I gotta say please hit like that hit that like share and subscribe and help me out so thank you for watching see you in the next video Peace, 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 be with you. Ekam espero to duo.